instead of making this seven, eight, six hours of sleep only for physical rest, we like to ensure that we derive spiritual benefit out of such inactive, so-called inactive hours, unproductive hours. No doubt we get physical and mental rest. But there is another element to it where we can have spiritual succor or spiritual nourishment even when we are at sleep. Generally we offer prayer just before going to bed and right after we wake up in the morning. Just before going to bed and retiring for good for next few hours, instead of making this seven, eight, six hours of sleep only for physical rest, we like to ensure that we derive spiritual benefit out of such inactive, so-called inactive hours, unproductive hours. No doubt we get physical and mental rest. But there is another element to it where we can have spiritual succor or spiritual nourishment even when we are at sleep. How is it possible? Trigger, trigger something in us through prayer that my Lord, we say, O Master, my God, Thou art the real goal of human life. We have to recognize this much, that highest principle is the goal of my life. We are yet but slaves of wishes, putting bar to our advancement. Thou art the only God and power to bring us up to that stage. At the end of it, you say, all throughout the night, even during my sleep, I will remain connected with the Lord. Or imagine that you are sleeping in the lap of the Lord. Just like when we were children and sleeping in the lap of our mother or father. Feel that comfort in associating yourself with that higher principle, higher entity. Maintain this for a few minutes with a conscious mind, maybe two minutes, three minutes. And by the time, I suppose, most people go to sleep because of the comfort derived out of this sentiment. Also, let there be the inner current of thought that soon as I wake up, I'll meditate and connect myself with still another higher level of consciousness and maintain that during daytime. Finish the evening cleaning that has spoiled my level of consciousness. Regain the inner balance of centeredness that you had earlier and mingle with family members with joy, with such purity and simplicity. And again at night time, cycle is completed through prayer. So this is how we can spend our 24 hours while working in, with our day-to-day -day affairs, going to work, whatsoever be the work, going to business or going to universities or college or schools, even while paying attention to our professors or lecturers. Have this inner connection established already. Even while doing this daily business affairs or work or even while cooking for our family. When we remain inwardly in tune with this deeper level of consciousness, I think the whole exercise changes its nature and we did have such a great benefit in just few months of such a training. I think 
life can change drastically. I wish you would give it a genuine, a serious try. You don't need to believe in my words. Just try it for seven days and see what happens. These few elements of this heartfulness practice. If you liked that you make this approach even simpler, we have this app called Heart in Tune. You can download that on your phone. It will walk you through various uh, elements of this practice. One is relaxation, second is meditation, third is cleaning, and fourth is about how to offer a prayer, how to connect with our inner source, how to connect with the ultimate. We also have heart spots all throughout the world where you can have trainers, you can take the help of trainers. These trainers will not charge anything to learn. You can go to their place of meditation and have a group meditation as well or individual meditation if you like to have individual meditation and fill this at a deeper level. Have a good meditation. Mm -hmm.